Well, howdy folks and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. We're out today on the beautiful Honda NC750X DCT. And uh, I've got the old sat nav set up because we're going to head to a place called Broadway. Which is a lovely little... Uh, little place it should be a, a really lovely day slash ride out now I hope you can hear me okay because uh, I have a new microphone set up and uh, it should be a lot lot better than the previous setup um, at least I'm hoping so fingers crossed it's working well and you can hear me good. Now obviously I haven't put up anything on the channel yet about the new bike so here's a little something I made earlier. Here's the introduction to the Honda NC750X DCT. Well howdy folks and welcome back to the channel. It's a beautiful day up here at Wendover Woods really stunning day so far um a bit of cloud in the sky but nevertheless very pretty lots of uh lots of nice greenery on the trees the main reason we're up here though is because i'm gonna unveil my new bike so without further ado here we are it's the honda NC750X DCT model in red, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, I picked her up, ooh, when was it? About uh, two weeks ago tomorrow. And uh, just absolutely loving it so far. Fantastic, really is. I mean, I was sorry to see the old uh, Meteor and the uh, CBR go, but you have to do what you have to do, needs must. And uh, unfortunately they just weren't meeting my needs anymore. So, welcome in the new bike. Now, it's the DCT model obviously, um, because of my health conditions etc etc. So, um, that's just to make life a little bit easier for me with, with my conditions and things. But so far, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, the DCT is so good, so, so good. And I'm over the moon with it so far. So uh, yeah, really happy. Um, as with all bikes, everyone always makes a little change. The first thing I did was uh, put a new exhaust on. So she's got the GR Moto exhaust there. Um, very similar to what I had on my CBR, but this time a different color. Um, it's like a titanium look, I guess, with uh, carbon fibre. I had the comfort pack put on her, so she has the heated grips, uh, the foot wind deflectors, the taller screen, and the centre stand. So, yeah, she's uh, she's got a few little extras on her. Got me a South Box biker sticker, representing our, our little group. Not club, group. Yeah, really happy with her. She is in a bit of a state because uh, obviously the weather we've had here the last few days has been pants. For the last couple of weeks it's not been good. The day I picked her up it was chucking it down with rain. So yeah, not brilliant as in terms of weather, but she's been handling it absolutely fine. Um, one of the other main features that really attracted me to this bike is the, um, the frunk, as people call it this storage space under the, well, where the fuel tank would usually be. Um, so, at the minute I've popped my gloves in there, my medication's in there, all my vlogging kit, etc, etc. It's just, it's just absolutely fantastic, really handy to have it. Um, and if you turn the key the other way, your back seat lifts up. And that's where you put your fuel in for the bike. So the fuel goes under the seat rather than where you'd expect it to be. 
but it just means uh, it just means you have that whole um, extra storage space which you don't usually get on bikes so that's just fantastic especially with like my medication and things I do apologise if you can hear my sat nav going at any time because of uh, I'm not sure how well the new microphone will pick that up. It will probably pick it up a lot better than my old one did. So just in case, I do apologise for uh, the interruptions of the sat nav. full tank of petrol, I've got some snacks, I've got all my medications, I've got a drink, so uh, we should be good. So the new setup I'm using for the microphone is a DJI mic, um, so it's the same brand as the camera because I use the DJI Action 3, um, so it seems to, on my test runs, work extremely well with this camera, and so it should because it's the same brand. So I uh, took my Honda in for its first service on Tuesday, it's now Thursday. This is the first proper ride out since it's had its service, and uh, it's pretty much allowed to do all of the little things that I wasn't supposed to have done before. like. I can rev it a bit more now, I can give it the beans a bit more now, blah blah blah. I am, however, absolutely loving this bike. Everything about it is is better than what I had before. Everything about it is better for my uh, health conditions and my disability. So, yeah, it's just an amazing little bit of kit and I'm really really happy with it I'm so glad that I went with this bike in the end I couldn't have chosen a more suited suited bike I don't think because the DCT is just heavenly and it takes all that stress away from my arms and my legs not having to clutch in all the time you know, constantly change up and down the gearbox, blah blah, Hyde does everything for me and it's just wonderful. 567 miles are on the clock at the moment, so uh, yeah, she's, I've definitely done a few miles on an hour and the DCT is just amazing. I love the gearbox on this bike. It's just such a comfortable place to be as well. Like, the whole bike is just such a comfy place. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no fucking way am I going down now? Oh, Jesus.
Ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> you only live once. <laughs> oh my god, Man. that would have uh, cleaned the underside of me bike, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Well, there you go. How capable is this machine? Very capable. Oh yes, I remember this. The tower is just over to the uh, right hand side. There she is. What I'm going to try and do first folks is get out with the uh, pocket free camera and uh, get some nice footage of her on foot. But there is Broadway Tower to the right. Here we are folks at Broadway Tower. Just got the pocket free out and it's starting to absolutely tip it down so I do apologise if I have to cut this a bit short but I did make it to the loo. <laughs> at the minute it is very cold, very wet, pretty windy so I shan't stay too long because I'll uh, try and head home before it gets too bad but we'll have a little nose have a little look see what we have made the effort there we are always nice is a little walkway down 
down and got some poppies out because it's uh, nearly Remembrance Sunday. You can probably see the tower just in the distance. the tower in the distance uh, very pretty very pretty indeed Broadway Tower. with the contrasting cloud behind it but hey hey there it is Broadway Tower so I hope you enjoy this little bit of footage as it's tipping down I'm not gonna do too much more I might get a quick photo and then I'm back to the bike okay so next time you hear me we'll be back at the bike <laughs> Right then folks, I think uh, I'm going to end the video there for today. Thank you so much for coming with me to Broadway Tower. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, I hope you like the new bike too. Uh, in the meantime, please like, share and subscribe if you will. It means a lot to me. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Ride safe. Cheerio.